Greetings pimps. This video is an idea that came to me after watching a video discussing the film and talking about how the creators want to do a sequel but haven't came up with any ideas for it that don't rewrite the ending. Now I have created a basic idea for it that the writers can feel free to use as if that would ever happen but still. Anyways here we go. The movie starts off with a replay of the ending of the first movie and then we pan out to see a giant cabin-like space station floating around the Earth. We meet our characters. I am not going to go in depth on the characters as that is up to the writers. They are trapped on the spaceship and will soon lose contact with Earth. We go back to the chaos on Earth and the first half or so of the movie is the destruction happening all over the world. The movie can make as many references as desired adding in new and classic monsters. You can also have new human characters to kill off during the chaos akin to the first movie. Of course none of those on Earth will live but you can even have a scene where people try to escape into space but fail. Show the people on the space station witnessing monsters pull it back down to Earth or something similar just a way to have it be destroyed. The build-up to the climax begins with the space station passengers unleashing monsters that were able to fly up into space onto their ship. They manage to hold them off until they hear a massive cracking sound start to boom across the galaxy. The Earth is cracking in half. We get one last shot of the chaos on Earth as the gods from the first film finally complete their mission of fully annihilating Earth. You can have nukes going off and all kinds of crazy scenes of people in the last moments of Earth. The movie begins to end as the space station begins to drift off into the abyss of space no longer kept in orbit of the Earth by its gravitational pull. We see the two heads of Earth begin to slowly drift apart on what seems as a collision course with another planet. The movie ends with the door or whatever the people on the space station used to barricade out the monsters being broken down and screams can be heard echoing into the void of space as we get one last shot outside the station as it drifts aimlessly into deep outer space with a fade to black and the credits roll. And that's my idea for a Cabin in the Woods sequel that doesn't rewrite the ending. I hope you all pimps enjoyed. We out.